What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be ranking every single solo Treasure Wars map in Minecraft. I will only be including the Treasures maps from solo, so if you want to see a duos map, let's try it like, I don't know, three likes. <laughs> that sounds stupid. Um, three likes and I'll make a duos map, but I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get right on into it. Right guys, so for my first map in D tier, this is going to be Facility. Now, I love the scenery and Facility, the helicopters in the sky above the spawns are a really nice detail. But my main problem with this is the um, actual functions of the map, mainly. So, the emerald spawners at the centre I feel way too far away from each other. So there's two floors with two emerald spawners on each. And as well as that, there is just, it's really hard to navigate around the second, like the lower floor, I feel. Um, the other problem I have with this map is when you're going over to the diamond spawners, and there's one stair block, um, as you can probably see in here right now. Stair block I'm passing here. Um, the problem with this is when you're trying to bridge, so if I went to bridge to yellow here, it would just make it really hard because I can't speed bridge because there's a stair block there. And it should just really be a flat block, I think. So, that's our first D tier facility. So, for our second D, D tier, I am putting the map Igloo. It's an alright map, but... I feel like there's just two things that I can't really change, I guess, because it fits the whole Arctic theme, but I just don't like about it. So, first of all, all the ice blocks around the map, they're good for if you're trying to chase an opponent sometimes, because not many people know that if you jump while you're on an ice block, it'll make you go further, just a bit. But when you're trying to bridge or something like that, or you're just trying to get into a good position, the ice blocks can really mess it up if they're there. So you just walk, it, it just messes up your speed of walking. Um, my second problem on this map actually has to do with one specific block that I mentioned in my last um, video. Pretty sure it was my last video, yeah. Um, it's just one ice block when you're trying to build. So if you're trying to build your base out, there is one single block of snow. There's a little layer on top, like the bushes, just there. I've got that small layer. There's that one small layer, and it just... You can see it on my game right now, on right. It just means you can't place a block there, and it'll just go above it instead. That just makes it really annoying. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that is our second D tier map, Igloo. Moving on to C tier, the first C tier map, is going to be mushroom. Um, these C tiers, I feel like it's just there's not really bad about the map like with the previous ones with the blocks, but it's just a pretty basic scenery. Um, I like the concept of mushroom, but I just feel like there's not much to the scenery. There's just a lot of different trees, and it's replaced with mushroom blocks. But, I'd say it's an alright map, it's pretty decent. That's why it's coming in at C tier instead of D tier. So, that's going to be our first C tier map, Mushroom. So, our second C tier map is going to be Library. It's mainly just the same reasons as Mushroom. Um, it's just... There's really not much to map, and as well as just, it's just, Mushroom is a bit more vibrant as well, whereas this one just feels pretty bland. Like, inside it's alright, but on the outside it's just a lot of stone everywhere, and it's just not that nice, it doesn't really look much like a library to be honest. So there aren't any bookshelves around. I feel like they could have just done a lot better on the library map. 
but overall pretty similar to mushroom just different colors that's going to be our second C tier map mushroom right moving on to B tier guys our first B tier map is going to be castle now the main thing that's going to separate these B tiers from the C tier is just I feel like it really fulfills the name of the actual map so tourists and that it didn't I mean not tourists um, library it didn't really feel much like it but this castle map it's really good I really like how they've um, made the emerald spawner um, they made the castle look really nice on that um, as well as just it's really got that feel to it with a cobblestone and wood not really looking too modern um, maybe one thing they could have done is on the top of the emerald spawner like maybe on the corners or somewhere just people can't reach maybe like uh, like you know stick models maybe put some armor on them make them look like a knight um, just where someone can't reach but overall pretty solid map um, first B tier map castle Right, our second tier map, guys, is going to be the map Taurus. Mainly the same reasons as Castle. It just looks really nice. And there's just something about how they've used different types of wood and regular wooden wood planks. It just make it's got a really nice feel to it. Um, it's just different from Library. And the spawn, it's got a lot of detail into its spawn. And the emerald spawner at the center, it just looks really nice. Um, they might have been able to do a bit more with the diamond spawners, but, like, detail-wise, just with diamond spawners, maybe they can look a bit nicer, a bit taller, than, like, the spawns, but, overall, really solid map, um, B-tier map, tourists. Right guys, coming into our A tier maps, these maps just have a really nice scenery and are also really good to play on. Um, first map is going to be Oceanic. Um, I really like the use of glass and the dome above the emerald spawner looks nice. As well as how they've used all different coloured stained glasses for the spawns. Um, the flooring at the spawns looks really nice. Um, just how they've it just looks nicer on this map um, and how they've got all these different glowing areas on it um, and yeah there's not really much else to it it's just an all around good looking map um, so that's our first A tier map Oceanic right guys coming in at our second A tier map is going to be Sandstorm most people probably don't find this as impressive um, scene in terms of scenery as castle but I really like it because the emerald spawners um, it just looks really nice little elevated bridge type but still really easy to get to and also at the center it feels more open which is something the facility was lacking in terms of different layers it just felt really closed off um, and it's just a really nice map, it just looks great and I feel like that's basically it. Um, also, as you can, this here, as you can see on my screen, I can reach through this window and stay really close to gold spawner. Which is really good because I can just stay under gold spawner and buy stuff waiting for it. Um, but that's going to be it for our A tier map, Sandstorm. Right guys, our final map for this video and my personal favourite is the STM map neighbourhood. Personally this is my best map because as you can see right here, I can just wait at the item shop and as soon as I hear the block come down, I can buy the wall. Um, another reason I like the map is it just looks really nice honestly. Um, I like the centre area, how there's all the different gates you can open. Um, it's also really easy to see everywhere um, and the uh, spawn I feel like spawn areas maybe 
I feel like it's the most detailed, maybe second to Turris. But I feel like it just looks really nice, the spawn area. Really clean. Um, especially the garage. But I feel like that's going to be it um, for the S tier. Um, neighbourhood. And that's also going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe. That would really help out. And I'll see you next time.